What's the difference between Pikachu and Pichu? Both of these characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate seem very similar, but today I want to explore what makes them tick, and why Pichu isn't considered an Echo Fighter. I'll be focusing mainly on surface level gameplay differences without getting too far into tedious aspects like hitboxes and frame data. First up is running speed. Surprisingly, Pikachu is actually a little faster than Pichu. Their jump heights are about the same, although Pichu has a noticeably faster falling speed. When it comes to weight, well, Pichu is the lightest character in the game, meaning he's quite fragile. Pikachu is a few spots above him on the wait list, and both characters can wall jump. Now on to some of the basic attacks. All of these attacks were tested on Mario at 50% damage. Their neutral A attacks are almost the same, although Pichu's pushes the opponent out of range faster than Pikachu's does when mashing. Their forward tilts are also very similar, but Pikachu's does more damage and also has a slightly further reach. Pichu does damage to himself during this attack, as well as any other attack that has lightning effects. So I won't be putting this out every time he injures himself. If you see lightning effects, that means he's damaging himself. Their down tilts are again very similar moves. The biggest difference is that Pikachu's pushes the opponent backward, while Pichu's launches the opponent more upward. There isn't too much to say about their up tilts. Pikachu's has a bit more reach, especially on the upward part of the tail swing. Pikachu's also has more powerful knockback. Their dash attacks only have a couple of differences. The most noticeable thing is Pikachu's version is more powerful and launches the opponent more backward than Pichu's. Now let's look at their smash attacks. Their forward smash attacks look a little similar, but they're quite different. Pikachu's is only a single hit, but Pichu's is a multi-hit attack. However, Pikachu's attack has a much longer range than Pichu. It's also worth noting that Pichu's attack has more powerful knockback. When it comes to their down smash, they're pretty similar. Both are multi-hit attacks, although strangely Pikachu's is a six-hit attack, with Pichu's consisting of five hits. Despite that, Pichu's attack does more damage. Pikachu's knockback launches the opponent more directly backward, while Pichu's knockback launches them a bit more upward. Their up smash attacks are different in many ways. First, Pikachu attacks with his tail, while Pichu attacks with his head. Pikachu starts the attack from the front, but Pichu starts from the back. Finally, Pikachu's attack is most powerful at the start of the move, but Pichu's seems to have the same attack power regardless of when the attack lands. Time to discuss their air attacks. Their neutral air attacks are completely different. Pikachu's is a multi-hit move, while Pichu's is just a single hit. There isn't too much to say about their forward airs. Both are multi-hit attacks, although Pikachu's is a six-hit move, and Pichu's consists of four hits. Pichu's still does more damage, though. Their back airs are also very similar. Both are six-hit attacks, however, Pichu's does more damage with more powerful knockback. The down air for both characters are about the same as far as I can tell. Both will act as a meteor smash when hit at the sweet spot. I felt like Pichu's meteor smash was a little easier to pull off in my tests, but it could all be in my head. Maybe it's just because I use Pichu more often. There isn't a lot to say about their up airs. Pikachu's does have a slightly farther reach and is also a bit easier to combo due to his slower fall speed. Now let's get into their special attacks. Their neutral specials look the same, but there are a few differences. Pikachu's damage output is different depending on whether it's shot while standing on the ground or from the air. It's a little stronger if it's shot from the air before hitting an opponent on the ground. However, if the ball of lightning makes contact with the opponent, it'll be at its weakest. However, for Pichu, the change in damage output between ground and air doesn't occur. It'll be the same regardless of how it's shot. However, if the ball of lightning makes contact before hitting the ground, it'll do more damage. It will also have higher knockback than usual, which also doesn't apply to Pikachu. Looking at the range, it's about the same, with Pichu's going just a tiny bit farther when shot on the ground. Pichu's also has a slightly faster travel speed than Pikachu's. Their forward specials also look similar, but there are once again some differences. Using no charge at all, Pikachu's attack has more knockback. However, at full charge, Pichu's is far more powerful. The catch, though, is that Pichu's version of this attack takes much longer to reach full charge. In terms of range, Pichu's goes a little more distance at no charge, but goes way farther at max charge. When used in the air, Pikachu recovers from the move faster, meaning the attack can be used repeatedly at a faster pace than Pichu. 
their down specials are, once again, the same type of attack, with some noteworthy differences. First, Pichu's attack plays out faster than Pikachu's. Also, Pikachu's Storm Cloud spawns a tiny bit higher than Pichu's. When hit with the shock wave of the move, Pikachu's attack will launch the opponent differently depending on which side of the attack they are on. So if they're on the right side, they'll be launched to the right, and vice versa. This isn't the case for Pichu, as the opponent will simply be launched in whatever direction Pichu is facing. When hit with just the lightning bolt, Pikachu's launches the opponent a bit to the side, while Pichu's launches them directly upward. A popular combo for both characters is to do up throw into down special. Using Mario as a practice dummy, this combo began to work for Pikachu at 71%, and started to kill at 73%. With Pichu, this combo began to work and kill at 93%. In the case of their up specials, there are only a couple of differences. Pikachu's will damage the opponent if it makes contact, but Pichu's lacks this feature entirely. Pichu's does go just a bit farther though. There isn't too much to say about Pikachu and Pichu's throws, although Pichu's forward throw has noticeably more powerful knockback. And to no surprise, their final smash attacks are practically identical, with just a slight difference in damage dealt. I think it would have been cool to give Pikachu his Z move from Pokemon Sun and Moon, but oh well, maybe next time. So that about does it for everything I wanted to cover. Overall, while their movesets consist of some similar attacks, there are a lot of differences between these two characters. Personally, I prefer Pichu, but Pikachu does have a lot of advantages like not having to damage himself to perform certain attacks. So what do you think? Who do you prefer? Do you wish that there were more changes? Battle it out in the comments, and of course, if you have more information on how these characters are different, be sure to let me know down below, as I'm sure there are things I missed. I don't and have never mained either of these characters, so this was largely new territory for me. But I wanted to keep it short and sweet, so I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Catch you later.